Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the surrogate key transformation. What is the surrogate key transformation? We'll see. Use the surrogate key transformation to add an incrementing key value to each row of the data. And this is useful when we are designing the dimension tables in the star schema analytical data model. In star schema, each member your dimension tables require a unique key that is the non-business key so this is basically we could see we will be going to have one of the raw data and under that raw data for example it is keeping the information for the employee so for that it is having the employee data then it is having the address data then it is having the date data so instead of keeping all those together we can split that like the date data in one table then the address data in one table then employee data in one table so all those are required a unique row identifier so for that we can use the surrogate key so this is we can create a new column and where we will be going to have the unique values incrementing by one by one so go to the browser and we'll see in the practical so here this is one of the source like employee data and this employee data is having like employee name employee address department then the gender it does not have any column which will be going to uniquely identify any row so we don't have the employee id here we could see so either we can use the employee id here or we going to split this table into two tables so one table will be the department table and one table will be the employee table so both tables are required to have a unique row identifier so for that we have to use the surrogate key transformation so go to in the azure data factory and we'll try to implement in practical so here let me try to add a new data flow and under this data flow now let me call this data flow as surrogate key transformation now here let me add a source so this source for the employee so let me going to use the inline data set so the source which is the delimited text so we can select that one and after that we have to select the link service so this is the link service that we have created in the earlier videos so i am going to use the same now go to the source option and under the source option we can select the file so the source file which is available under the input folder and this is the employee data file so we can click on ok now we can scroll down side and first row as header now we can go in the projection and try to import the schema so after importing the schema here it will be going to have all the columns that we have seen in the file so employee name employee address department and gender we don't have any unique column so we can click on this plus symbol and here we can see the surrogate key so we can select that one so this surrogate key is going to say the key column so this should be employee id or the id whatever that you want to specify then the starting value so from where we want to start this value so i am going to start this from one and then the incremented value which is the step value so i want to increment one by one so first row will be having one second row will be two then three then four going forward will be having values like that go to the data preview and try to refresh to check the output of this data so here we could see the id which is the one two and three now go back to the surrogate key and we want to increment not one by one first will be one then three then five so we can specify and try to refresh here so it will be going to have one then three then five like that so as you can see under the id and if we want to start from 10 then we can also the start value from 10 and we can refresh so that will be 10 12 and 14 so that we can see 10 12 and 14 so i want to start from 1 and incrementing one by one now we can add this into the sync so that we can add in the sync location and here i am going to use the inline so we are not going to create any physical data set for this so this should be the delimited text in the output and after that the link service then we can go in the setting and try to select the folder by which we want to keep this file so i want to keep this under the output folder so we can select and click on ok 
then first row as a header we want so we can select this checkbox and the file name option so i want to keep this output to a single file and the file name that we can call this serocade key transformation now we need to go in the optimize and select the single partition because we are using the option for output to single file now go to the data preview and try to refresh it so it should have the data here under the sink so as we can see all the data here now let me try to publish this click on publish so publish completed now we can go here and try to add a new pipeline and under this pipeline i want to execute the data flow that i have created so we can select this data flow and here go to the settings and try to select the data flow so that is the surrogate key transformation now i just want to debug it so we can click on debug so when this will be executed successfully your output folder will have one of the file with the name of surrogate key so this is we can see now let me try to refresh it so this is in progress now we can see surrogate key transformation because your pipeline is executed go to the edit so this should have the data as we have seen so last column is the id which we have created by using the surrogate key transformation so this is all about the surrogate key transformation so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video